We are at the final stage of the Mountain Dew Real Change Opportunity Fund pitch competition. This is where our judges get to decide which of the five wins their part of the $1 million. My name is Candace Blacknall. GABA is the LinkedIn for medical students. Meeting the right people and finding study tools is as easy as three steps. Share, match, meet. Hey, I'm Desmond Wigan. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Battery Exchange. We provide on-demand portable batteries. This is one of our kiosk machines. This is Hercules. We have four models. Hercules has 24 portable batteries. It also has a 24 inch digital screen. My name is Ashton Keys. And my name is Jared Humor. We believe we have a product that could revolutionize the sports industry forever. We do a social analysis through our algorithm, our AI. And from this example, we can see that this athlete can have posts about beverages. So we can actually recommend certain beverage companies as a potential partnership. Hi, my name is Jeff Osuji. And we are Team Event Noir, uh, the future of black event ticketing. When our friends will go to other cities like New York, D.C., or Miami, they will always ask us for references for local events or local promoters. We felt there was a need to put all these events on a platform for everyone to access. My name is George Ashenpaul. I wanted to impact, serve, and help a lot more people than I could on a one-on-one -on -one capacity. And that's where the idea came from, Pocket Advisor. We are going to create the world's first AI-powered, human-friendly, financial pocket advisor. Now I'm more of a doer than a talker. How do you make money? How does the business make money? I am so inspired by your story. How do you keep yourself from getting taken down? It's really, really hard to build a community. The work actually was the practice. We know our business front to back. And every day that you wake up and fight the good fight, you're getting closer to your goals. You just finished your pitch how are you feeling? Really excited. We know a lot about our customers and our business. I think it went really well. I think we did a good job explaining what our product does and how it works. So I definitely feel confident, you know. Now, I'm more of a doer than a talker. You know, I'm really about execution. Do you think you made a great impression on the judges? The judges strike me as folks who are all about building wealth and breaking generational curses. I think they got the idea. I think they asked some really, really good questions. This is definitely gonna be a game changer. We'll see you in a little bit. I do not envy any of you all. <laughs> hey, DJ Envy. But what do you all think about everything you saw in these pitches? And the goal of the Real Change Opportunity Fund is to support closing the black wealth gap. We're gonna have to really talk through this as judges because there's so much great stuff here. If you had to just break it down to the single most important criteria that has to be met for someone to be number one, what would that one thing have to be? It's a good business for me. Yeah, it needs, to, it needs to be a badass business, but it also has to have badass founder, <laughs> right? Gaba was dope. I love her passion. Certainly high marks on culturally relevant. I, I do feel like Gaba rose to the top in that it is supporting a sea change in an entire industry that is woefully underrepresentational. Her charisma and her passion and her storytelling around the purpose of the business, I think is really, really compelling. You can feel the emotion coming out of her when she talks about it, and it's needed. I do like Pocket Advisor. I just think so many of us don't have the knowledge that we need when it comes to our finances. Pocket Advisor is about changing people's relationships with money, right? And if anything, it's gonna open up doors to create generational wealth. Problem with them is I just can't see them checking everybody. It's kind of hard to say, you know, everybody's legit. Although I hear everyone in terms of um, the defensibility on credibility, like that's really important over time. I think that that someone should win. Like there is room for there to be that household name for every HBCU student. And not every HBCU student has a pocket advisor, right? Mm -hmm. So I think there's ways to build in that credibility. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't on Pocket Exchange, but Morgan made me a believer. Pocket advisor, pocket advisor. Pocket yeah. advisor. <laughs> yeah, you came in, you, you, you came in, you was not feeling that at all. And that's like, that's a good one. You know, I love financial freedom. But my fear was that credibility to know who's yeah. really teaching these people. I love the fact that anybody, like you, like she said, when you go to college, you gotta download that app. I love that. I like. I, I, I'm starting to really, really like that. <laughs> the park is swimming with sharks. I'm telling you, if you really are gonna stay where you're educating folks at a level that is is sub when the when the big banks get involved, but it, as soon as you get money, there's gonna be a whole bunch of people giving you advice. I really like a, Event New York. I think that could be a much bigger platform 
and I think it's a massive market. These guys have shown resiliency. They just are like one or two big partners away from really being able to make an impact in the black event space. I love the way they were thinking about the power of the black dollar and financial independence and reinvesting in communities. Part of this whole challenge is in support of black entrepreneurialism. And again, I think their platform really, really enables that. It's not specific to any one thing. Everyone wants to go out. Everyone wants to find something to do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a DJ, a TV host, whatever it is you do, at some point you want to go out, whether it's an, an art exhibit, whether it's a jazz lounge, whatever it is, everyone wants an outlet to do something. I do events, I do parties, I do car shows, I do seminars, and there's only one or two places to buy a ticket. So now if you have an African American site that's doing the same thing, it's going to use a percentage of that to put back in my community. That company, I feel, can make a profit and they make, can make it in a good way. I like this battery exchange idea. It is a highly innovative option if they could scale it. I think that we might be undervaluing how hard it is to have a hardware company. I think that they've got the grit to scale and being minority certified also told me that, okay, you've done your homework too. You know how to play the game. You have your airport certification. You're ready to go. So you're just one press release, which hopefully all of us can be helpful to them to getting potentially million dollar contracts. Um, and I love when we build products that everybody can use, when we're, but we're the owners of them. And then with Athletic, I love the passion there. I really do. And I think they're, they're very much tapped into what will be a massive secondary market. I just think they're going to get washed out by big business. I can't see, you know, a, a big business company going through them where they can just go through themselves. Can we all agree that, not in order, but the top three we have so far is <laughs> uh, uh, and I know battery exchange is in there. Battery exchange. I know it's like deep, you know, envy come back me up. <laughs> My biggest thing with GABA is just is the scalability and the business, you know. I, I could see it much broader. Think about it. If you started with medical, you then your law, then your I see Oh, I theory. totally agree with I that. Theory. If she had said that, then it might have moved up for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm aligned. What I'm saying is this is a loosely aligned confederation because I, I think she's <laughs> it is time to reveal our winners. We'll have a first, second, and third place prize winner, and they will all be taking home their part of the $1 million prize. Can you believe it? We're really here. Plus, each school that helped to create these amazing entrepreneurs will be winning as well. They will receive an award fund dedicated to creating real change at their HBCU. Let's see who our winners are, judges. We are at the final stage of the Mountain Dew Real Change Opportunity Fund pitch competition. And though we are inspired by all of the entrepreneurs here, two companies did not make it to our top three slots. Those companies are Battery Exchange and Athletic. But before we let you go, we want to give you some parting words from our judges. I'll start with Battery Exchange, man. I, I thought it was a great concept. Uh, it, was, it was a close fight for me. Uh, I fought with a couple of other judges, but you know, I, I feel they were right. If you continue to build, it'll be something that'll be, it'll take over the country, like kind of like them, them bikes in, in New York City, I don't want to say the name, or the scooters in Charlotte and all those areas. I 100% believe in what you guys are about to do, and I can't wait to be in the mall one day, and I know my phone's gonna be dead and have to use one of your charges. Lee, I wanted to say the same to both of you. You know, we had our private time in a mentorship session, and you both are amazing with the great concept. Desmond, I would like to see an investment plan. I'm very interested in battery exchange and more athletic. You guys are so smart, and the opportunities are endless, and the potential is endless. I know you guys will make your mark, and I'm rooting for you for sure. Thank you all so much again for participating and being here. You all are making and changing the game already. And we thank you so much for being a part of this competition. This was a really tough deliberation between all of our judges, but they made some really sound decisions. So I'm going to announce that the third place winner of our Mountain Dew Real Change Opportunity Fund pinch competition is Pocket Advisor. All right, Morgan, I want you to give them some parting words. Uh, well, one, congratulations, you all. We were so inspired by the potential impact of financial literacy, making it more accessible to the everyday black person in this country. Um, I thought you made some great points around the fact that there's just by definition, the industry already doesn't include the majority of us. 
And so if you're able to tap that market and make it more accessible, I think that you'll have a huge, huge business on your hands. So we're rooting for you and we're so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you guys. You. Appreciate that. Congratulations to Pocket Advisor. They are our third place winners. We are in the final, final moment of the Mountain Dew Real Change Opportunity Fund pitch competition. So we're about to find out the winner who's walking away with the grand prize and the runner up. Everyone drum roll, please. The winner of the Mountain Dew Real Change Opportunity Fund pitch competition is Event Noir making Gaba our second place runner up. Congratulations, you all. I wanna make sure that I get my judges in here because they really fought hard. And I wanna start with Steven for some words for God because look, Candace, he's he's your fan. Uh, so yeah, so I'll jump in. And I tell you the, the, the two most important things in getting a business off the ground. One is, is it a good business? And two, uh, does, does the founder have woo? And I will tell you, uh, you know, deep knowledge in the industry, big, big personality, bring in it. And you're gonna be successful whether you would have gotten money from us or not, uh, you're gonna go do your thing. I, I put my own money on the line that you're gonna knock it out of the park. So just fantastic job, great business, and you're gonna make a big difference. So thank you for, for all you do. You could probably tell from how emotional I got talking with you, your story really touched me. And I think the impact of your idea is going to be absolutely massive, not only in opening up the door for, uh, for representation in the healthcare community with black professionals, but changing the shape of that industry. And I'm with Steven, you, you're gonna change the world and we're just excited to watch you fly. So congratulations, thank you for bringing this to us and for sharing your genius with us and wish you all the best. I love it, I love it. So we have our winners, Event Noir, and I know Envy really wanted to give you guys some, some love there. So I'll start with you, Envy. Tell me what you're thinking about why this company had to be number one. For me, it's it, it was everything. No matter what it comes to, you buy tickets for something. And the fact that they have their own platform, but they give back to their own community, why wouldn't I want to use it? Why wouldn't anybody that looks like me want to use it? And if they open it up even more and say, okay, African-American will take a percentage to put back into the community. The Latino community will do the same. The Asian community will do the same and so on and so on. I mean, I just think it's a great concept, a great idea, and I will fully support, and I can't wait to see them you know, do bigger and better things. The other thing for me was your resilience. You know, you all have been going after this for a long time, put a lot of sweat equity into this business. Raising money is tough. And um, the other win for me is, I think the creator economy is, is the next phase, the next trend for black entrepreneurs. And so not only were you putting money back into the community, but you're putting more money into black creators' hands. So the residual effect, that, that put you number one for me as well. Yeah, that was really what put you guys at the top of the pack for me was the exponential amplification of entrepreneurialism in the black community and just how the platform enables that. And you know, to Morgan's point, you guys have been doing this for three years already. What you need is just a little bit of push to scale it up. And that's that's clear to us. So congratulations. Sky's the limit, guys. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Event Noir. You are the winner of the Real Change Opportunity Fund pitch competition brought to you by Mountain Dew. We heard from some amazing entrepreneurs today. We heard their story, what drives them, what keeps them up at night, and what they're looking forward to. We have crowned our winner, and we can't wait to see what they do with their winnings. We wish all of the contestants all the best and we look forward to seeing what they do and watching their companies flourish. Thank you to Lala Anthony, Blavities, Morgan Debon, iHeartRadio's DJ Envy, our PepsiCo judges Stephen Williams and Nicole Portwood. Thank you to HBCUs for the educational foundation of such an incredible group of entrepreneurs. And of course, a big thank you to Mountain Dew. This was the Real Change Opportunity Fund pitch competition. My name is Gia Peppers, and I'll see you all next time.